The sprawl that we have did not occur purely as a result of personal preference. It was, it was very much a planned phenomenon. It was planned by governments. There was a redlining of inner city areas. There was freeway building. There was coding, uh, massive coding. So the idea that this has all happened as a result of consumer preference uh, is simply not supported by the evidence. Well, one of the things that we've learned from this project was that, that our hunches about the, the market supporting this kind of community have been proven uh, to, to a degree that was beyond our wildest imagination. There was a very strong demand for this kind of community. People do want to uh, get out of their cars. They want to live in more walkable places, uh, places with more amenities close by. But one of the things that I think uh, we've been struggling to do is to integrate more with uh, the surrounding area and particularly this arterial that is still very, very busy uh, and to try to sort of tame that and make that more walkable and, and integrate more of this kind of development. I would say that's a, that's a big challenge. The other one is just uh, how do you get more of a sort of evolutionary fine-grained uh, pattern. You know, we had one big uh, home builder here uh, it would be great to have a number of smaller uh, home builders and more, uh, more diversity.